Hello, hello, hello. Hello to all my beautiful loved ones. All my beautiful brothers and sisters all over the world. That includes you and you and you. How are you today? This is your boy, the writer, G.A. Wilson, coming live and direct for Love Back. If you don't know me, how I get down, baby, I go in all the time. Let's get it. Relationships. You know, um, when you begin to get into a relationship, everything is all hot and dandy. You get what I'm saying? You, um, so infatuated about this person. You love everything about them. You could talk all day and night with this person. I mean, everything is like, whoa. You're like, oh my God, my God, I feel so good when I be with this person. I love this person with all my heart. I'll never want to live without this person. But then, you know, soon it becomes, you know, Maybe several months later, or a year later, or a couple years later, you begin saying, Man, what the fuck I was thinking about getting myself in a relationship. This bitch is getting on my nerves. Excuse my friends. She's getting on my nerves. Oh my God, why he's doing this to me? Why he's lying to me? Why the house is not clean up? Jesus Christ, why can't she can't cook right? All these things begin to add up about this person that you were so in love with, that you couldn't live without, that you love with all your heart, that you cuddle up in the bed. Now you sleep on a separate, separate side of the bed. You don't even, even try to touch the person. You don't even say the things that you once said to the person. This person don't even make you feel good. Things about this person make you, your skin crawl. What had happened to this person that you fell in love with or was so in love with? What happened? Well, these things happen to all of us, the best of us, because to me, I'm married. I have been married for over four years, and I'm telling you, certain things get to me too. But I have found out. This is what I have found out, ladies and gentlemen, my loved ones. This is what I found out, that it's not best to look at what this person's doing wrong, what, this, what you hate so much about this person, what is getting on your nerves about this person. What you have to do, as Rodney Barn has been teaching me in the power, I will bring it up to you, see what I'm talking about. Well, she has been teaching me in the power. You find something good. You find something that you like about this person. You found something that you love about this person. Stop looking at what you don't like about this person. What this person is getting on your damn nerves about. What this person can't do. What this weakness about this person is getting on your fucking nerves so bad that you want to run out and go find somebody else. What you do, you find something that you like about this person. Let me tell you what Rhonda Barnes said in the book, The Power, on page 133. She said, if you're in the midst of a difficult situation, look for something to be grateful for. And that's what I have been doing myself because being married for the time being I, that I have been married, I have found a lot of things that, that just get on my nerves. Ladies and gentlemen, it just get up a nerve for a minute, and then I stood back and I say, "That's not the way it's supposed to be." Because what will happen once you find one bad thing about this person, more things begin to accumulate. That's what happens. So, what I have found to do, as Ronda Bourne has been teaching me in the power, we find something that you like about this person. I said. I like my wife. I like when she cooks for me. I said, she does a very good job of making sure food is cooked for me to take to work and eat. I said, I like her better. I like that about her. I like that she talked to me because I'm not too much a person that likes to talk. I'm a person that I'm not going to start a conversation with you. You're going to have to start a conversation with me if you want me to talk to you. That's what kind of person I am. 
So I said, I like that she's volunteered to talk talk to me. You know, and I like that she want to be with me, that she want to spend the rest of her life with me. You know, that's what I have found because if you begin to start finding these things as as she don't cook and she don't clean or he don't give me money or we we never go out and the clothes that, that he or she wears not all that is not in style all these things begin to add up and that's when the relationship began to be a wreck it began to be a mess and you don't want to be with that person no more you want to say damn I want to be with somebody else I want to find Tanisha, Tamika, or Jonathan, or Jimmy down the street. Things like that. That's what begin to happen when you start finding all these wrong things about this person you're in relationship with. So, do what Rhonda Burns say. If you're in the midst of a difficult situation, look for something to be grateful for. Also, I'm going to look at another page uh, from Rhonda Bourne. She's saying on 135. Also, to use the power of gratitude, practice it. The more you feel gratitude, the more the love you give. And the more love you give, the more you receive. So it's good that you begin to start to practice gratitude. You know, practice gratitude is saying find something, like I say, find something good about that person. Find something that you're grateful for. I'm grateful that this person's want to be with me for the rest of the life. I'm grateful that this person give me the bomb and sex or the oral sex. I'm grateful that these person want to want to lay down their life and have kids for me. I'm grateful that this person go half on the bills for me. You know, find something that you're grateful about this person, and what will happen? You begin to fall back in love with that person, or Start being in love with that person. That's what will happen. As Rhonda Burns say in her book, In the Power, there's no bad relationship. There's only good relationship. A relationship does not go bad. What will happen in your mind, you begin to start thinking bad things about this person. And this is the main reason why this is a higher percentage, a higher percentage divorce rate in America because people begin to find bad things about the person they involved with, that they love with, their spouse, their wife, their husband, their boyfriend, their girlfriend. This is the main reason why so many get so many people get out of relationship because they begin to find so many bad things about this person. Once they begin once you begin to find one bad thing, it begin to add up to probably ten things. I'm telling the truth about this guys, ladies and gentlemen. So, find the good things about that person that you like or that you once love about that person. If you can't find one thing, go back into those early years when you guys were together and y'all were lovely dovely, when there were no kids or when y'all was living in y'all one bedroom or living with your mom and dad. Find those good things and I promise you, loved ones, what will happen, that magic of love, that chemistry will come back in that relationship. I promise you that. This is coming from Rhonda Bourne. She's teaching in her the book, The Power. And also, if you want to go back to the secret, you can. And also, the magic. She teach it. So, ladies and gentlemen, do that. Get that love back. Because that's what I'm feeling in my relationship, my marriage. That love back. I'm finding those good things. I'm not finding those things that stress me out once I, once I get home. You know, those things that get on my fucking nerves. You know, I'm not finding those things. I'm finding good things about this person that wants to spend the rest of her life with me. And you do the same too, ladies and gentlemen. Do that. I thank you. Have a good day. Have a beautiful night. Take care of yourself. Do what you have to do, okay? All right.